and a lot of tips. Okay, tip one is if you're traveling and you have, especially internationally, and you have multiple connections. So today we had three connections. Usually I never do that, but in order to make it back on time, um, Harlan and Kira, the travel siblings, worked really, really hard to get us all these different flights and everything had to work perfectly and be on time for it to happen. And let me tell you, God was with us and angels were with us. Oh, tip two. Okay, let me finish the bag. Tip one, make sure that your bags have all three of the very important handles when you are putting baggage up above you and down. Meaning just not to pick it up on the top, but there should be a side handle and then the handle on the bottom. My mom bought a bag, a Samsonite bag, a TJ Maxx. She sent me a picture, I thought it was great, until I had to lift it up and down three damn times today. And I'm like, why is there no side handle? And why is there no handle underneath at the bottom? So that's one thing. Also, your wheels, the more you pay for your luggage, the thicker your wheels are gonna be, like the four wheels. So, her bag looked okay in the picture, didn't do okay, so I give it a thumbs down for traveling internationally and loading it up, and it was so top heavy, like it just kept falling forward. This was her little carry-on. Um, the second tip is that try not to travel on a weekend, because I have never had such a great experience traveling through Atlanta. I typically hate connecting through there, especially going through global entry. My mom wasn't able to get it in time. And so I was very worried about the lines, but it was seamless. There was hardly anybody there. It was actually really weird. But since we're traveling in the middle of the week and in the middle of the day, it was actually quite nice. And so the airports are typically busiest, you know, on a Friday, Saturday or Sunday, and especially Monday morning. So that's another thing, especially if you're traveling international to try to go like on an off day. It was the easiest experience ever. And I was so thankful to be back in the United States in the airports because our signage is so incredible. It, like you just look up and you know like where's the bathroom and which terminal do I need to go to and there's great directions and it's not quite like that. In uh, the Netherlands and Amsterdam, they do have a beautiful airport and great shopping, but we didn't have time to look at all that stuff. I don't think my mom's ever seen me move so fast in my life, especially being up for almost, I don't know, 30 something hours. It's like 3.30 in the morning where we just came from. And so I'm like, literally, we've been up for like 40 something hours. Um, but the flight on Delta was great today. The food was great. I don't think I'm gonna eat pasta for a whole year and need to do a detox from pasta, 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 pasta. Anyway, I'm so happy to be back in Nashville. And then tomorrow, it's getting like really dark. It's weird because in Italy, the sun doesn't set till like 9.30. It's like 8.20 here and the sun it's like actually getting really dark. Um, but tomorrow we're heading to Kentucky to Hopkinsville, Hop Town to do a final vendor meeting. We're so excited for our June wedding there with lots and lots and lots and lots of people, friends and family for our sweet bride Elizabeth. And we'll be there focusing on that. And then we're headed to Alabama to Purcell Farms and new property that is offering luxury weddings and we're going to do some work with them for a couple days and then I'll be back in Nashville for a little bit. It's just travel, 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 travel season. Okay, I'm getting off the interstate to get my puppies. I'm so excited. <laughs>